that God wants to heal those sicknesses. Sickness is nothing before God. Uh, you know, if I can tell you, you have this sickness. It is to tell you that God has healed you only. It is just to tell you He has healed you already. Now we can see that God is in fact i wanted to speak with you because you are sick also but you are sick because of the spirit that visit you there's a spirit that normally visit you this is an attack of a spiritual husband so he's bringing sickness on you you hear me hey. you need deliverance yeah. you need deliverance so god is going to deliver you today amen and also, everything that you are trying to do is not working for you. Huh? Mm. Because there's too much suffering mm. huh? that you're experiencing even now. And God wants to heal you. Amen. Let me touch your head here. This thing is it's an attack. It's a demon that is causing all this. This is a demon. Mama is very sick here because the whole body is giving you pain. Amen. And you can't sleep. Amen. Eh? Amen. It's your mom. It's your mom. God wants to heal her. Because when I look at her, I see the whole body is under attack. Amen. I can't see she's sick of this, sick of that. Amen. As I'm touching her, she's healed. She's healed. Amen. Amen. And also, there's a curse that I broke when I'm touching her of marriage, which I believe she will marry. When do you want to marry? So you know, eh? Eh? she's my sister. There's a curse in your family. You people, you, you can't marry. Yes, it's, eh? it's true. So this curse is broken today. Amen. When I'm, She must forget about what happened. Amen. Amen. Yeah, because the devil is bringing, you know, thoughts of if she marry, this thing will happen again. It Amen. won't happen. Amen. You understand? It will never Amen. happen. Uh, my name is Eunice Kwezi. I'm from Northwest. Uh, the prophecy I received, it's true because my mom is very sick and then like she didn't sleep and she was complaining that at night she can't sleep because her legs are painful. The whole body was painful and even the ear and it's been like this. She's been like this I think it's three weeks now that she's been sick and uh, that is true that she's sick and today she, I, I, I thank God that she received her healing. I'm very happy for my mom because I was worried, I was also stressed because we were all even also supposed to put her on the prayer line so that she can be prayed for and get her healing. So I thank God for healing her today. Thanks. I was seeing an accident, so I'm trying to locate this accident. And I say, what is happening? Brother? I'm seeing an accident. Were you involved in an accident? Sorry. Eh? Sorry. Were you involved in an accident? Yeah, many times. Yeah. Several times. Yeah. Uh, God loves you. We need to stop this thing. Eh? Amen. Yeah, because otherwise you end up losing your life. It will never happen from now. Amen. It will never happen again. Amen. It's like this issue is to make you to lose money. You understand? Amen. It's to lose money because even now when I look at you, everything is going down financially. Amen. Is it true what I'm saying? Yeah, it's true, man eh? of God. It's but true, I, man of God. I want to pray for you. Amen. Knowing that God is blessing you. Amen. You are free. Uh, my name is Marcus Mashiro. I'm from Limpompo. And then, yes, uh, the man of God, what he said to me, he said, uh, I got uh, too many uh, accidents. And then, yes, it's true because I, uh, since I was born, I, I got too much, too much accidents. 
And then when, when I was still young, the first thing, when I was still young, my mom told me that uh, we got in an accident and then I cracked a skull. And then now uh, we got a, a last, last of last year, we got in an accident with my brother, my father and my younger sister. And then uh, my father and my, my, my brother passed away. And then only me and my sister who survived on that accident. Even at the place where I'm working, and then we got uh, uh, the forklift run, run on top of my leg. And then even last year when I go home with my brother, and then we got in a terrible accident where I lose my sights and uh, lots of things happens. And then so... Um, the man of God, what he's saying, uh, uh, it's really true. And then I thank you now for, because he saw everything about that. And then he, he just prayed for me. And then that is why I say, I, I'm really thank you, thank you. It's really a man of God because he saw what uh, troubles me every time. Just come here. Come. There's a baby. I see a baby, a small baby. Yeah. Eh? Yes. Is your baby? Yes. Eh? Yes. Where is the father? Uh, we broke up. Eh? We broke up. You broke up? Yes. You want to marry? I do. Who? Your, the father of the baby? <laughs> you don't know. Because I see a baby. And this baby is a blessing. The father of the baby needs to come back. Yes. You understand? Mm. I want to pray because of that. That... He must come back because of this baby. Okay. This baby needs a support. If he doesn't come back, call him. If you are able to call him, tell him that I'm saying, don't go anywhere. Because okay. you can suffer because of this baby. Okay. You hear me? Mm -hmm. So you need to take care of this baby. Where is your wife? She's at Venda. Huh? She's at Limpopo. We need to pray for unity. You hear me? You people are fighting all the time. It's true. And uh, the way you're fighting now is becoming too much now. It's, it's like Satan wants to destroy everything you are trying to do. It's true. Because you have worked very hard. It's true. But even what you are having now is like valueless now. It's so true. you need to bring peace and reconcile with your wife. Forgive your wife. And your wife must forgive you. It's true. Tonight, call each other speak about forgiveness. You understand? Okay. Yes. Is then you will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Sir, so can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of God today, whether it was true or not? Uh, I'm from Venda. Uh, and then our day is today. I'm feeling well, and then I'm feeling great. We're always fighting, but I don't know where the fight is coming from. And then I was supposed to go and fetch her end of this month at Venda. But when I, tell, or when I call her, she said, no, she can't come this month. She can come end of next month. But I don't know what the problem is because we agree a long time ago. But for now, I don't know what can I do because I try all the best. But and she don't appreciate for that. I don't know what I have to do. And then I thought, be daddy. What she told me today, I think the problem she is going to solve. You need deliverance. You really need deliverance. Yes. Because you've tried to do business. Yes. Eh? Yes. And you failed. Yes. Is it true? Yes, it's true. You have tried to do business, you have failed. Yes, it's true. Even whatever you are trying to do, fail. Eh? Yes. yes, it's true. Everything you are doing now failed. Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes, it's true. You wanted to make a loan. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. But failed. Yes, it's true. Come on, you demon. Come on. Leave it. Leave it. Come on, you demon. Ouch. In Jesus' name. Hold it, hold it. Leave her down, put her down. She can be injured, but she's free. 
spirit of a family. The spirit that is following you. It's a spirit of lust, this one. This is a spirit of lust. Come on! Huh? Uh -oh. This is a spirit plus following her. And this spirit destroy everything. Mm, we don't want her to get married. Huh? We don't want her to get married. You don't want her to get married? Hi, no. Why you gave her a spirit of lust? Why you gave her the spirit of lust? She's very rich. Huh? She's got everything. She's got money, everything. Hi. She has got what? Remove, She's got a lot of money. So remove that thing. Remove it now. Leave her to remove everything in the waste there. Remove everything. Remove everything first. Aye, man, aye. Huh? Remove. Spirit of lust. You are defeated. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. You are free. Rise up. Look here. Whoever comes to you, promise to sleep with you. And this is the spirit of lust. Attracting wrong people to you. Yeah? And now even your wisdom was blocked now. But I want to tell you, you are going to be successful in everything you do from today. Amen. My name is Lisbeth Makoka. I stay in deep sloot. I confirm the prophecy it was true. Because like, lately, like, I think a few weeks back, there were a lot of guys like coming to propose me. And I was like, even the ones that know me, I was like, really now? So I confirm it. It's, it's, it's very true. It has affected me. Because I knew, but uh, I, I did not accept the offers, but I knew that this was not from, it was not like love, love, what's happening, how can, when I walk, everyone sees me, this must be something wrong, yeah. Uh, I thank God, I love God, they must just allow God to work in their life. Thank you. Devil doesn't want you to marry. I'm, it's not true. I'm married. Eh? I'm married. You are married, but there's a fight. Yeah. The, it's not true. It's true. Devil doesn't want you to marry. You want? Where is the wife? She's that side with the baby. Can you just go and call the wife? Because what you are doing, you people, can separate you any time. Go and call the wife, or call her by the mic. Devil Rerand. doesn't doesn't want you to marry. Rerand. And this thing is coming from your family. Because I see people who are controlling you. Huh? That's true. People are controlling you. So how are you going to rule your own house? Just call your wife. God loves you. Rerand Barane. Even your wife, she's complaining. She's complaining, but she's afraid even to tell you. Because you are, you, you are becoming short temper. That's true. Huh? That's true. If somebody tells you what you don't want to hear, you become something. You become angry. The devil doesn't want you to have a wife. Where is the lady? She's this lady, you need to listen to her. It's like God gave you a woman that will advise you. But you are the one who's stubborn. It's That's not true. true. That's true. Huh? That's true. It's not true, Mama. It's true. Huh? It's true. So you are even afraid to speak with him? Yes. Eh? Yes. It's not him. He has been attacked from his family. This man. And people are controlling him from home. It's not true, brother. It's true. So you need to stand together. You need your wife. This lady, she's having wisdom. That's eh? true. That's eh? true. 
but you don't listen to her. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you just do things with your money without even informing her. That's true. It's not true, sister. It's true. Can you just bring unity? You overcome the spirit. Come together. This is the spirit that I'm seeing of you. And this thing wants you to leave this woman. That's true. Huh? That's true. Sometimes you feel like you want to go out. That's true. So stand, stand with your wife. Don't cry. Stand with your wife. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, my name is Cecil Kosa. I'm staying in Midran. The prophet that the, the prophet say is true. Normal when we do some 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 other time when I do things I normally do it alone. I don't include this. You know, on my side it's my wife. We stay together. We have two children. The professor was true. Indeed, whatever he said, it is true. At times, you know, my husband would use money without even consulting me. But you know, I just tell myself that it's one of those things. But it is very true, whatever he said. It does affect me because, you know, at times, you know, you, I end up doing my own things and then he does his own things. And we're supposed to be, you know, husband and wife and be doing things together. But because of that, I told myself that, you know what, let me not even entertain it. Let me just leave it anyway. It's his money. It's my money. You know, there's that kind of a thing of which is not good especially that we husband and wife. I am very positive and I believe that as the man of God have been used by God to see the problem which I didn't see. I mean I'm very surprised as well. I was sitting that side and I'm looking and I'm thinking and then I'm called. So I believe God have delivered us and indeed going forward we shall not separate whichever the de devil wants or whatever demons from home or wherever today they know that we're not going to separate in Jesus name this lady come there's a spirit of snake in you this is snake this is snake this is snake this one is a snake look at this one Come on, you snake. Come on, you snake. Come on. You snake, come on. You a snake. You a snake. You a snake. You a snake. Can you see how she's moving? There's a spirit of a snake here. There's a lady here, you have got cancer. It's a womb cancer. You're the only one who's here today with a womb. Yeah, it's this one. There's a womb cancer. And you feel pains here. Eh? Yes, man of God. You're free in Jesus' name. 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 Can you just press there? You won't feel pain again. How do you feel? It's easy, man of God. Huh? I feel easy, man of God. You feel easy, you are free. My name is Mary Banda. I come from Midrand. Uh, man of God didn't call my name. He just called the problem that um, I have. So I could identify that he meant, he meant me. So I stood up because um, I could identify with what we are saying. I have been to doctor various times. But, uh, you know, the diagnosis was um, something uh, um, different every time. They'll tell me that um, my diet is bad. Um, uh, um, I went to a specialist. They told me it's um, IBS. Uh, they've been given medicine, but the medicine wasn't working. So I've been just taking medicine without any, any help. Um, um, the quality of my life is actually very poor. Most of the time I feel tired. Um, I eat very little because I really don't know what is wrong. So I've cut a lot of things in order to correct the, the condition, but it's, it has, still hasn't improved. After the prayer, how are you feeling right? I actually feel a lot easy. Yes.